Steel head. On a trout feed. All right. Water's kind of clear, so I figure I'll switch up to a trout feed. Got this yellowish one, like a big salmon egg. Hook hangs a little below it. Fish sucks the egg in, along with the hook. When fishing low clear water conditions, or streams that see quite a bit of fishing pressure, sometimes it's necessary to use lighter line and downsize your baits if you want to catch a few trout, salmon, or steelhead. Well, the trout bead rig is ideal for just those type of situations. Nice brown trout. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trout bead rig. On the bead. Well, the first thing you do is tie in about two to three feet a fluorocarbon leader. It's virtually invisible under the water. I prefer a six pound test. I have no real preference on any brands, so any, any fluorocarbon works. I normally use six pound low vis green for my main line and six pound fluorocarbon leader. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use a little heavier line so you can see how I tie the knot. First, you're just going to overlap the leader with your main line by about six to eight inches. And you're going to form a loop and pull both ends through the loop three times. Once, twice. three times. Now you're going to wet the knot. Just pull it tight. Alright. Let's trim off the tag ends. And now you have your leader tied on. Next thing you're going to do is attach a float. I prefer these clear stealth floats use any kind you want, but the reason I use a float is with the trout bead rig, the hook hangs below the bead. If you're fishing the bottom, you're going to end up with a few snags or you're going to fall off the fish, so I always prefer to fish it under a float. First, going to put on a couple of these here bobber sleeves. Put one for the top, one for the bottom. Slide them up to your main line. Float attached, fluorocarbon leader. Well, now you got your leader tied on, and you got a float attached. Next, you're going to select the bead and slip the bead on a line. You can get, get the beads at a tackle shop, or you can buy some beads at a craft store and paint them yourself. I kind of like these oversized yellow. I've had a lot of good luck with these. Now I'm just going to slide this bead on a line. Slide the line through the hole. Now you got your trout bead on. Now once you slip on a bead, next thing you do is tie on a very small hook. I prefer a size 14 or a size 16. I want to use a small hook. Hook hangs about three, three or four inches below the bead and you really don't want them to notice the hook. All you want them to see is this bead floating by. I'll just tie on a hook. If, bear with me, my fingers don't work as good as they used to. I use a improved clinch knot. Want the knot? Hold it tight. Let's trim off the end. Now that you got your bead and your hook tied on, next thing you do is peg the bead with one of these rubber pegs. Just take one of these rubber pegs, slip it through the hole in the bead, pull it till it gets snug. 
cut off close to the egg. Just pull a little more through. I'll flip it around. Clip off this end. A little tighter. Now the rubber peg holds the bead in place from sliding. Now you want to keep your bead maybe about three to four inches above the hook. Like so. Now when the fish inhales the bead, the hook goes along with it. Okay, now you got your hook tied on, your bead peg, last thing to do is add on a couple lead shot, at least two foot above the trout bead. You don't want the fish to notice it. And there you have it. There's your uh, trout bead rig, you ready to catch some fish. And here are a few of my favorite beads for steelhead and brown trout. Water's kind of clear, so I figure I'll switch up to a trout bead. Got this yellowish one, like a big salmon egg. Hook hangs a little below it, fish sucks the egg in, along with the hook. See if we get one. Another one on a trout bead. Trout bead. It's strong. There's my. It's stronger than another one. We run it down, man. Oh man. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, he's running them. He's all caught up on the ice. Uh oh. He's not as lethargic as the other ones. He was sitting up in the front though, you know? He probably had a little more spunk for him. Get him in there. I'm going to get him on my Nice one. Another ice water steelhead on a trout bead. That one put up a good fight. There we do it. Hey. That's fun. <laughs> 